Hi all, Hal here with more 7 Days to Die. And as you can see, we are in now into day 5. We are at about 3 a.m. in the game. Um, the howling you hear is just background audio, so it's thankfully no dogs in the area yet. There was one earlier this evening, uh, one right before sunset at the, uh, the, the 10 p.m. mark. Um, I was out and about hunting and was able to gather enough resources to actually put in a forge. Yay, forge! So we now have the basics that we need to survive. Um, I will probably be building a second forge, but I'm not going to place it until we've actually got a the starting of a real base. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen on day 7 because I really don't have the ability to hide from zombies right now. Um, so what we're going to be doing, as you can see, we do have the cooking pot I don't, and a cooking grill. I don't remember if we had these at the last, ep the end of the last episode or not. Um, I have been doing a lot of off-camera gathering. As you can see, I've got some, uh, got a few arrows. I actually need to go find some more feathers. Um, I'm not sure where all of my feather supply went. I may have just used them and <laughs> been using all those arrows. Oh, so yeah, we're in a bad situation. Um, we're not as bad as it was, but it's still not a good situation. So basically what I'm going to be doing is gathering some snow so that we can make jars of uh, murky water. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of jars, so that's not too bad. What I'm going to do is then boil those, and while those are boiling, I'm going to be out and about gathering resources. But right now, we're just waiting for the 4 a.m. to kick in so that we can uh, get out of the uh, house and go do what we need to do for the day. One of the things that I wanted to show you is um, the new weather system as well as the uh, the core temperature system. As you can see, I'm gaining core temperature here, but if you get too close to the wall, as you can see, the closer you are to the exterior walls, the faster you're going to drop your core temperature because I don't have a heat source inside the building. But if you just take a couple of steps back, you start gaining the core temperature. Uh, so this is something you might want to be aware of when you're in the colder biomes. Like I am right now, I'm on the edge of one of the snow biomes. And it pretty much uh, on all sides. I've got a burnt biome on one side, snow on the other two or three sides of me. And in a sheer cliff off to the uh, east, I believe. Um, so when you're out and about and you're trying to manage your, your core temperature, you might want to keep this in mind. Definitely uh, keep yourself towards the center of the rooms. It does seem to help. Now, do keep in mind that just because you are inside does not mean you're going to stay warm. And that's basically what I'm trying to highlight here. Um, you do need to be aware of where you are inside the building as well as being in a building itself. All right, it looks like we are at the 4 a.m. mark. So what we're gonna do is, first things first, we do need to make sure we've got some water. All right, so we are going to, let's swap things around here a little bit. Because as you can see, I actually had some zombies out here the other day, <laughs> last night, right before sunset. Um, and the, in order to repair the, uh, the brick, you actually need cement now. So what they've done is with the way that the the upgrade and core system has worked is working now, um, specifically the uh, the construction system, is you need an appropriate type of material in your inventory to repair the damage to the structures. Um, is it a good change? Yeah, I can't say that it is. It, def it does definitely add to the realism of the game, um, but again, it's one of those, was it a necessary change? I don't think so, but eh, you know, it is what it is, right? Alright, so... What we're gonna do, so while we're out and about...
Let's see here. There we go. So we've got eight things of snow. Let's grab a little bit more because I do want... That's 12. Because I definitely want to be having this run. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and craft those. That leaves us with nine. This is one of the drawbacks of <laughs> the, the snow, is that it destroys your tools very, very quickly. All right. All right. So that should. Uh, we're gonna put that in our inventory. So let's go see if. There is anything in here worth having? So, like I said, we do need to find a lot more supplies. So, thankfully, the door's unlocked. Do be sure that you're closing the doors behind you. Um, every little bit helps. Oh, candle! Awesome. Free light sources are always good things. So, if you find them, goodbye. How long did we go looking for those things and we couldn't find one? <laughs> Alright, so that's snow below us. That tells us there is no basement. Alright. I tend to uh, close doors everywhere I go for the folks who uh, <laughs> may be new to the channel. Uh, mainly because of the fact that I really don't like being surprised all that much. Um, so if you close the doors, the odds of them being able to surprise you are much lower. Now with the, uh, the change to the system, since you can't pick these things up anymore, you can harvest them, but you need tools to do so. So a knife or, I don't know, will the pickaxe do it? Yeah, the pickaxe does it as well. Okay. So depending on what you are harvesting and how you are harvesting it, uh, you may or may not get materials back depending on the tools that you use. And that is something that you want to be keeping in mind as well, which is one of the reasons why you do want to try and find uh, tool the as many of the tools as possible as quickly as possible. It looks like somebody blocked off the door. All right. So this one has been looted. As you can see, I have gotten a little bit moist while we are while we are out and about over here. Well, that's a bear. I don't, we don't want to be messing with the bears. Let's see if we can get up here. There we go. Oh, look, supplies. Always a good thing to find some more supplies. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some scrap iron here. Now, the iron girders are important because those actually are really good sources of iron if you're looking for uh, quick and uh, easy iron to grab. Uh, I did get very lucky in that I found a steel pickaxe very early in the game. Um, if you do not have a steel pickaxe, there's no worries. You can still get it, it just takes a little bit longer. Alright, so want to see if that door's locked. I think it's going to be uh, indecision. You know, is a bad thing in this game. Let's see how fast we can get through the door here. Okay, just a few more hits. Just a few more hits. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so now we are going to put those in. 
And we're going to loot the heck out of this place as quickly as possible. Alright, that was something I definitely needed. The new wrench. So this is, like I said, this is one of the reasons why you want to make sure you are looting everything. Um, oh, yeah. And you do want to be crouched as much as possible. Um, it does reduce the radius at which the zombies are able to hear you. Um, unfortunately, if you're carrying anything, a food item that is giving off odor, it does not impact the radius at which the uh, <laughs> the odor can be detected at. So, all right. So we do want to try and get in here. Usually, whenever you come into a house where the doors were locked and you see something like this loaded up, it usually means there is something in here worth interest, at least investigating. Oh, that was nice. More pipes and scrap lead. Oh, that is... Thank you. We will use those right now. Free wellness is always a good thing. Free health is a good thing. Um, so you want to be picking up the painkillers, because those do help you regen health. Uh, nice. Free water. Big money, big money. Oh, <laughs> you. Uh, oh, ammo. With ammo, that means you go here. Hunting rifle comes back onto our... I had to use uh, more than a little bit of the ammo to secure the house up yesterday, so... Oh, anything in there? Looks like that might be open from the other side, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, and as you know, with the uh, the new crafting system, you do want to make sure that you are uh, picking up as much as possible because you do have a. Uh, let's go ahead and drink that. And drink the other one as well, because we're going to go back and start making a little bit of water. Uh, but yeah, you do want to make sure that you're picking up as much as possible because things like the pictures uh, you can now use for glass and in the new system you need to be focusing on all of your resources not just the things that you're used to putting priority on. Um, the nice thing about it is, is it means you don't have to find sand to make jars. Uh, the downside of it is, is that it means it's one more inventory slot that you're losing while you're looting. So, Like I said, I have been trying to suppress the zombie spawns out here a little bit. It's already empty. Because that's a new bow. Let's see if we've got anything up here. It's already empty. So I did already loot all of these. Okay, did I get this? No. Didn't get the mailbox. That's uh, paper. We did get that. Okay, so I'm going to go through the back here. Hopefully we uh, don't get detected because I don't want to die to the zombie. I'm carrying a lot of really good stuff. Come on. Thank you. And once again, we are going to want... Is that gonna awesome? And put that in. Put that in. Okay. And this gives us a little bit of freedom here. Oh, we've got beer. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this, but the beer is actually more important to me right now because of the bonuses that it gives you than the uh, empty jars are. Okay, so that's locked, which means there is probably a safe in there. 
Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, let me make another axe. Actually, I'm going to make two. Because this one's about to break. And as soon as this one breaks, the first one will replace it. It'll start crafting the second replacement, and probably because we're probably going to break both of these, so which is fine. Not worried about the glue right now. Now, see that that is going to come back and bite me in the uh, the butt a little bit later because. What's going to happen is, is you can use the glue to make duct tape. It's just uh, glue and cloth. And do I have anything? Uh, it's just... Alright, so... Puffy coat. That's glass. Uh, uh, don't really want to give up any of this stuff, but... Okay. Before we go upstairs, I do want to secure as much of the lower area as possible. One of the reasons why I brought us in so early was because I did want to give you as much um, of the background as, what's, as I can. Mainly because of the fact that the days in this you really do need to be maximizing your time in the game. Um, if you think you can get away with it, I would actually even recommend starting a little bit before the 4 a.m. Uh, wake up, simply because the uh, you need as you really do need as much time as you can get. Oh, 10 millimeter. Dang it. All right, that's good. Hunting knife. I definitely. Now, for those who know me. <laughs> Hunting knife has never been an item that I care about. Um, with the changes, I now care about the hunting knife because the hunting knife allows you to more efficiently harvest both meat and hide. And with the new system, because it's basically one for one everywhere now, um, yeah, you go through things really, really quickly. Oh man, this building's all beat up. So, one of the things that I do need to also start working on, and I may go ahead and start here, once we've got all of this done, is that I'm going to need to start building uh, spikes to defend the house. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to come back for this place. There's a lot of really good stuff over here. Oh, bloody rot. Okay. Oh, I've got a better I've got a better rifle, so let's We're gonna scrap that. We'll take this. Take that. Okay. Oh man. It'd be nice to find some food. Food is always a good thing to find. And I never seem to have the ability. Turkey uh, water. Also good to have. There's a lot of empty jars. That would save me a lot of crafting time. Can I wear those? Oh, let's put you here. Let's put you here. Let's check what we have right now. These are better. Okay. And those we're going to scrap. Oh... Scrap you. Alright. Okay, so we actually end up with a, a little bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of a supply area as over here as well. Let's go take a look upstairs. And then uh, we're pretty much done with this place except for the uh, downstairs area. Uh, the storeroom. So there's definitely some stuff over, worth coming back for over here. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is actually building 
a base over on the uh, the cliff face, the sheer cliff face that we saw earlier, because I want to try an idea that I have for defeating the zombies. Um, it's going to be interesting because I'm not sure it's going to work out quite the way that I'm hoping it is. So let's see what happens here. It would be really nice to find a, uh, <laughs> a fire axe. That's my next tool that I'm looking for. I may end up making that first. Um, I should have let... Oh, I forgot to turn the forge on. We have a bunch of iron ingots, or uh, iron fragments, that need to smelt down into the raw iron for uh, working. Oh. See? This is, this is why you need to be aware of what you're doing. Because <laughs> you end up screwing yourself up if you're not keeping track of everything that's going on. All right. Is there anything down there? Uh, looks like it's just boxes back there. Okay, so that one's down. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna go take a look here. Is this locked? Really? <laughs> it's like, how annoying can we make this game now? Okay. So a lot of people have been mentioning that they don't like uh, some of the changes simply because it has made Seven Days to Die so much more grindy. And I can't disagree with that. It is a lot more grindy than it used to be. Alright, so... Um, but by the same token, it is a little bit more realistic in that aspect. Um, yeah, guess what? You, <laughs> we're going to wear immediately. Okay. That was a lucky find. Chest armor is, especially iron chest armor, that was, that was rather awesome. All right. Let's see what we got in here. So, so we are going to go ahead and eat that. As you can see, there are a rather large number of zombies outside and about already. We're going to eat you. And yeah, we'll go ahead and eat you as well. Just so that we have a good amount of food to work from. We do have cooked food back at the house uh, that we're currently using. So at this point it really is just about trying to find enough things to survive. Gen and like I said, generally I don't recommend uh, worrying about any of the, the blocked up rooms. If you can't get to it quickly and easily, it's generally not worth the time. But because we are so close to the the day seven period I really really need to make sure that I'm looting everything that I can That's in here there's a desk in there which means there's probably a bookcase and a tree apparently oh I hope there's a bookcase in here all right no there's not a bookcase but there is a uh, chest. Hey, I'll read it. So even if you have already learned the schematic, uh, one of the changes that they made for Alpha 13 is that you can actually reread the same schematic and it'll give you XP. Oh, there's a bookcase. See, this is why you, you, <laughs> you recon the building before you uh, start working on things. That way you can set your priorities. Learn from my mistakes because this mistake may kill me. 
So what we're gonna do is after we uh, finish looting this house, I am gonna head back to the uh, the temporary base. Oh, look at that, the pistol book. Um, oh, that's not good. Yep, dogs found me. Oh, that was not good. Yep, dogs found me. This is not a dog horde yet. Oh, maybe it is a dog horde. I really hope this is not a dog horde. Some sense. Alright. Is there anything I can drop? Because I need the animal hide. Alright, and we are at 26 already. So what we will do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. And we will come back... Uh, to continue this day in the near future. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. And, well, you know the rest of it. If you haven't subscribed already, you might want to uh, do so because it will keep you up to date when uh, new content comes out as well as when I uh, go risk my life again <laughs> with more zombies. Yeah, that's See, the bad part is, is that we actually lost those wood frames. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you do throw them down in the comment section below each of the videos. I may not get back to you immediately, but I do try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. Um, if I don't reply, it's nothing personal. I just ran out of time. And since I am out of time, I am out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic Monday, and we will see you back here tomorrow for either ARC or uh, Wednesday for the next installment of Seven Days to Die. As always, folks, Take care and be safe out there, everybody.